Hey, what's going on Flash Mob? It's your boy Flash and today I want to talk about 10 of my favorite filmmaking accessories that's definitely going to help you out. Run the intro. So if it's your first time here, my whole channel is about helping filmmakers turn your passion into paychecks. If that's the kind of thing that you're into, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for all my future videos. So the things on this list are really just gonna help you out whenever you're on set or doing any type of filming. To be honest, if you have filmmaker friends that never show you any of these things, honestly, I don't really know if they're your friends, but I'm not here to bash anybody or to make anything uncomfortable for anybody, but I'm really trying to help you out. So if you guys see anything on here that you like, I'm gonna make sure I leave it in the description below. A lot of the times as filmmakers, we get caught up in all the big fancy lights and cameras and lenses, and we tend to forget about these simple, common, everyday type of items. And these items are really just there to make your job a little bit easier or to organize yourself a little bit better. But let's get into them. All right, so the first thing on the list are these bongo ties. And they're really just simple elastic loops that allow you to wrap around your cords and cables and keep them organized before you throw them in your bag. These kind of things are especially important for somebody like me because I'm usually carrying around a lot of extension cords and power cables to power different things that I have. They're actually really simple to use. You take your cable or your cord, you fold it up, you wrap this around the entire thing and tighten it. And that way, when you throw it in your bag with everything else, it's not getting tangled up with all the other items in your bag. Then when you arrive on set or whatever shoot you're going for, it's easy for you to identify exactly which cable is what, pull it out of the bag, take the bongo tie off, plug it into your device, and you're ready to go. And the best thing about these things is their price. They're super cheap. You can literally get a pack of 10 for $17. So number two on the list are 15 millimeter rods. 15 millimeter rods are absolutely the backbone for any camera rig that you wanna to put together. These things are mainly used to help support accessories that you wanna to add to your camera. So some of those things might be lenses, follow focus, teleprompters, and other accessories like mics, batteries, and just general lens support. They really help to keep your rig looking organized and clean, especially when you start adding a ton of different things to it. I have a wide variety of 50 millimeter rods in my bag, and I like the ones that are able to screw into each other because I can turn something short into something long and then back again. And it just gives me a lot of versatility, like I said, when I need to add on a lot of different accessories. So number three on the list are these guys, Velcro strips. Now these guys have a very similar function to bongo ties, except what I like about these guys is that you're able to loop them around the cables and actually keep them on there forever. So essentially, instead of having to always look for a bongo tie, you can put these onto the cable and anytime you're finished, you just loop them directly into one of these guys. You could literally get a package of 100 of these for $11. So I mean, why not? So number four on the list are white balance cards. Now, if you've never used a white balance card before, just as simple as it is, is they help you find the appropriate white balance when you're out shooting in different environments. All you gotta do is hold this up in front of your camera, hit your white balance card, and it'll automatically set the Calvin to whatever it's supposed to be within that environment. Where these really become useful is when you're on a set where there's multiple different cameras. Sometimes you might have a Sony, a Canon, a Nikon, a RED, whatever, and all of them all have their own specific type of picture profile. When you use a white balance card, it helps each of those cameras get a very, very close, maybe not exact, but a very close white balance. And this is something you want to do before you start editing because it'll give you a clean, easy to use starting point so that when you start color grading, everything can match. Now these ones literally cost $10 on Amazon. So I mean, for the size, the price, this is just something that just makes so much sense to throw in your camera bag. And number five on the list is these guys, extension cables. I know we've all been in a scenario where you show up to do a shoot and the only outlet is in one area and maybe a table or something is blocking it. But obviously you need to plug into the power and it just makes it a little annoying when you have to maneuver through all those different things to get to it. And then there's usually only one or two outlets in the wall. And then you have three or four things that you maybe wanna plug in. That's where something like this really comes in to save your bacon. I can't tell you how many times I've been at a wedding and we show up at the reception 
and we had to plug in and start charging all of our batteries or any of our equipment that we've been using for the first part of the day. And without one of these things, you're really just at the mercy of whatever the reception hall gives you. And I just love the fact with your own extension cord and your own power outlets, it allows you to do everything you gotta do without any additional people interfering. Generally, when the guests at the wedding also wanna plug in something, they're looking for an outlet, but when they see that this is plugged in and it's all next to our things, they kind of just leave everything alone. You can easily pick up one of these things for just under $40 and have all the power you ever need again. This is a newer quick release plate. When it comes down to it, if there's a way to make my rig more efficient, I'm always gonna go that route. And quick release plates have absolutely changed the game for me. When you're building out a rig, more times than not, you're either trying to find a magic arm or some other type of screwing option that help you attach different things to your rigs. With these guys, you attach either side to the item that you want to attach to each other. It's as easy as putting them back together and locking them in. I usually use these guys for monitors and any kind of audio options that I want to add onto my rig. I have maybe two or three of these with me at all times. You can find these on Amazon for as little as $18. In my opinion, once again, you can't go wrong. So the next thing on the list are pliers. Now, I know these definitely don't seem like a popular option, but I can't tell you how many times I've been trying to unscrew a bolt or something or, or actually screw on a bolt and just don't have the ability to squeeze and turn it enough. And that's where something like pliers helps. You can squeeze, you can turn. You probably won't use them every single day, but when you find yourself in a situation where you do need them, they're absolutely heaven sent. So next on the list are rechargeable batteries. Now I generally like to go with a company called Onlu because they have been tried and tested for the filmmaking world. I don't really gotta say it, but I mean, there are way too many devices that we use on an everyday basis that require AA or AAA battery. And having rechargeable batteries that you can rely on are just one of those things that are, is almost a no-brainer. The thing I like a lot about on-loop batteries is that they retain their charge for a long period of time, and then on top of that, they really recharge really quickly. So I'll usually keep about eight of these batteries on deck with the charger so that no matter where I go or no matter what I'm doing, I always have a pair of batteries that I can plug in. So the next thing on the list and maybe one of my favorite is the utility or hex tool. Pretty much on any type of shoot that you go to, there's gonna be some type of situation where you need to either tighten or loosen something. And that's where one of these guys really help. Now the one I use is from Red, and um, I mean, you can get it from their website, but all you really wanna do is have something that's gonna give you all these different hex tools. So, and like I said, you're gonna see these type of things more times than not. And one of my favorite things on the red one, it gives you this little flat size tool. And this is really good for tightening down your tripod place onto the camera. But yeah, I got one of these and I will never, ever, ever go to a shoot again without one. And it also has a Phillips screwdriver head. Cause I mean, why not? And the last thing on my list are these Think Case cases. Now I love these really because they literally can hold every single thing, with exception to the extension cord, in one little case. Like you can literally fit your cable ties, your pliers, your utility tool, quick release, batteries, white cards, and a bunch of other little miscellaneous items. I generally use both, one the bigger one for those items that I mentioned before, and another smaller one that I would use to add in all my audio equipment. And what's really good about these things is that they keep everything organized and neat and tidy so that all you have to do is throw this in your bag and you're ready to go. So yeah guys, that's the 10 items that I would recommend looking into if you live that filmmaker lifestyle. None of them are really gonna change your world, but I promise you this, when you do start using them, you'll wonder why you ever did things without them. And the fact that literally everything on this list is just at or under $50 just makes it that much easier for you to make that decision. Again, I'll be leaving a link in the description below for everything that we talked about today. If you guys have any other accessories that you like and want me to know about, go ahead and leave something in the comments for me below. If you made it to the end of the video, you're a real one and I really appreciate you. Until the next video, guys, remember to look, learn, and share. Take it easy, guys.